won't believe this professional timeline effect was made entirely in Filmora. Let's start. Before we start, what if this video hits 100 likes, then I'll share the template for this effect. I have these two sample images. First, we'll add a simple zoom in animation using keyframes. Just add a keyframe at the start, then go to the end and set the scale value to 110. If you have multiple images, apply the same animation to all of them. Now go to the effects section and search for old video. Drag it onto the timeline and extend its length till the end. I'll slightly reduce the frequency of this effect to make it look better. Next, search for the vignette effect and drag it onto the timeline as well. This gives the video a nice vintage and cinematic look, perfect for our theme. Now move the playhead to the start, click on the shape icon and select line. Draw a vertical line in this area. Hold the shift key to keep it straight. Adjust its duration to match the background. I'll set the fill color to white, disable the border and set the line thickness to 5. Move the playhead to 1 second and add keyframes to position and scale. Then go back to the start and manually decrease the scale. From which we will get this perfect drawing animation. You can also tweak the keyframe positions to adjust the speed. Now click on the shape tool again and select ellipse. Hold shift and draw a circle right at the center of the line. Disable the border and set the fill color as you like. Move forward by 10 frames. Add keyframes for position and scale. Then go back to the start and set the scale to zero, creating a nice pop-in animation. Hold the Alt key and drag this layer upwards to duplicate it. Move this to two frames forward. Select the second keyframe, disable the fill, enable the border and set the border thickness to two. Increase its scale a little so that it fits perfectly around the smaller circle. This is looking good so far. Now move the playhead to around 1.6 seconds and draw a horizontal line. Like before, disable the border and set the fill color. Keep the line thickness at 4. Bring the playhead to 2.5 seconds. Add keyframes on position and scale. Then return to the start and manually decrease the line to sideways. From this, we get perfect growing animation. This looks really cool. Now at the same point, draw a small vertical line in the same way as before. Follow the same steps. Disable the border, set the fill color and adjust the size. You can also zoom into the screen to set it precisely using the arrow keys. Move forward by about 17 frames. Add keyframes for position and scale. Then go back to the start and drag the line upwards. Now the perfect call out line animation is ready. Fit the screen back to normal. Move to 2.17 seconds and add a default text layer. Replace it with your desired text. For example, I'm typing a random year. I have chosen the font Sinzel Bold. Place it at the end of the line. Apply fade one animation and reduce the duration slightly. I feel like if this animation a bit slower, it'll look much better. I just need to adjust this a little more and hit on apply. Backward few frames, duplicate this text layer. First, we'll place it on this side, then just resize it a bit. After that, simply type our main text. By the way, I'm showing this process in full detail so that no one gets confused. Because many comments ask for slower, step-by-step -step explanations, adjust the position and size as needed, then go to advanced options. And in the animation tab, select the typewriter animation, adjust the duration until you get the look as you want. To add more depth, in this way, enable drop shadow on both text layers. Just in case you forgot, go ahead and hit like and subscribe. Now select these six layers together and create a compound clip. I'll name it Preset. Right click and choose Save as Compound Clip Custom. As you can see, this is now saved as a preset. So you can easily reuse it, adjust the duration to match the first background image. Then drag here this preset, adjust the duration, 
then right click on it go to edit timeline and simply replace the text as needed you can also tweak the size or position slightly by the way just ignore this text i literally just typed something random click the home icon go to transitions open the slide section and apply the push up transition to all the compound clips set the transition duration to 20 frames apply the same transition to the background images too for extra detailing go to effects search for noise and drag this effect onto the top layer finally to make it even more dynamic and engaging add some suitable sound effects and you're done adjust the settings according to your requirement got any ideas for the next video feel free to share let's create something awesome together Thanks for watching like the video share our video comment below your suggestion and subscribe to our channel